If you want to make a bomb, you want to isolate the uranium-235 from the uranium-234 and 238, a chain reaction. And each one of those reactions releases energy. Most of the uranium ore is uranium-238, not useful for you. About no more than 1% of the uranium that is mined is uranium-235. So you want to enrich that. You want just the uranium-235. Well, how are you going to do it? These atoms are mixed together completely. You use a centrifuge. Well, centrifuges don't work on solid matter. You have to turn the matter into a fluid. Liquid is fluid, so is gas. Back to uranium. One way to do this is to turn it into a liquid, but it turns out it's easier to turn it into a gas. Once you gasify the uranium, you now centrifuge it. You spin it. The centrifugal forces will separate out the U-238 from the U-234, leaving the U-235 in between those two. If you pull it out when it's enriched by 5%, that would mean what you've pulled out is 5% uranium-235. That's good enough for nuclear power plants. Up the purity to 20% or more, that's enough to power sort of nuclear propulsion in, for example, nuclear submarines. But to make a bomb, it has to be so purified that at least 90% of the uranium that's extracted is composed of uranium-235. It's that simple. So something as simple in concept as a centrifuge, which medical professionals use to separate platelets from your plasma in your blood, when taken to its extreme limits, who would have thought?